Hey guys, it's going to Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com with a CTO Dose Light Board Edition. You can find us on the web at CTOadvisor.com. You can find me on the Twitters at CTO Advisor. We're going to talk a little digital transformation using RPA. We get this question quite a bit. It's RPA, Robotic Process Automation. Is this a gimmick? Or is it real taking bots or electronic bots and replacing human activity using real software bots? You can think of it as, you know what, I have a human that takes, you know, this thing that doesn't have a API. It can be whatever process, taking information out of one web page and putting it into another web page. I'll just take a micro or software to do that process. That's it at the most simplistic perspective, but let's take a business process that we see in the real world. Let's say a manufacturer that has a workflow where they receive orders via fax machine. This happens a lot in low skilled workforces that I've been trained to order widgets from Acme using a fax. From the receiving the fax, Acme takes a the request from a customer service rep perspective and inputs that request into SAP. Now we're you're talking about digitally transforming this process. This is a very difficult process to digitally transform because there's people involved in this process and without training the people to do the new interface, all the development in the world won't help. help. This is where RPA can come into hand, handy. You replace basically this customer service activity with an RPA robot, the fax goes into a fax server. RPA uses OCR, image recognition to read the order and then automatically inputs that into SAP, eliminating any errors that the customer service agents would have done and then making it practically a faster process. So again, you've taken a manual analog process, you've digitized it to the point that you can digitize it. And now the effort is now just on this part, the SAP part, whether you're taking Leonardo, uh, some type of other digital transformation initiative to spend time developing the interface so that customers can access and, and, and interact with you via SAP while eliminating all of this infrastructure back end piece. You don't agree? You think this is a relatively weak uh, example? Hey, hit me up at CTO Advisor on Twitter. You can find the website at thectoadvisor.com. Let me know what do you think about the lightboard versus doing whiteboard videos. Talk to you next CTO Dose.